Okay, I need to get a tripod because I always put this on something random and you don't want to know what you're standing on. But let's go over what we got today from our shopping haul. It's just a bunch of random stuff. All like summer, anti-sun stuff and we didn't go overboard. It was fine. So you guys saw in the car, I got my replacement for oh, my hat. Yes. And this one's a darker color too. So I actually, I love this color. But yeah, I want to get this in like black, beige. I'm going to get all the colors. And it was only like $7. Chinatown. Now this one was a little bit of a... You know, I saw it at the Japanese grocery store and I was like, yeah, why not? It's probably good quality, whatever. And it's, it's all red. It's a bit of a doozy. It's uh, It was in the box. No return policy, I think. But it's a little bit flimsy. The cool thing is it does flip inside and out. So you can do black or you can do this nice little beige color. But I don't know, man. Look at the marketing. They totally got me though. Um, I've been needing a new little headband thing because I, I don't like it when it's too tight. So I was like, oh, if it's too tight, I'm just gonna stretch it out. Well, I, I messed it up and I stretched it out way too much. I did this thing where I was like spinning it really hard and I was like stretching. So pulls your hair back. Oh, this really pulls your hair back. Yeah, I wanted one that was thick too. Cause sometimes you get little hair flies and it like dangles out and it was just nice. But it is a little bit too tight, so I'm I'm gonna stretch it out. But I just have to be really careful not to overstretch it. I'm just gonna <laughs> just stretch it up. Next, oh, I've been trying to get this for a bit because you know I love sunscreen products. Apparently, sunblock or sunscreen sunblock is better in certain other countries: Japan, Korea. Europe, Australia. So other countries like Japan, they have some really cool ingredients that they can use that works really well. Formulation is better and it goes on the skin easier. It's not like super thick. It's not like white and stuff. I'll let you know if, uh, <laughs> I'll let you know if something happens to my skin like 10 years down the road. Or maybe I'll just look the exact same 10 years down and I won't have any wrinkles or anything. This one's called Biore, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Biore UV Aqua Rich. It's a little bit, it's like watery. I don't know. Can y'all see pieces? See how watery it is? Look at that. So she was showing me this in the store and she's like, oh yeah, it's like so easy to put on. It's very lightweight. It really does a good job of protecting it, especially if you don't want to put a lot of like heavy sunblock on. But I don't know if I trust that. I feel like you need more. Oh, it does like, oh, once it dries up, you do feel like a little bit. But I don't know, man. I was a little bit, uh, I'm like, I don't know if I trust that. Is that really gonna protect my skin? So I also got this one too. This one originally, I kept seeing it. I was searching it online. Like, oh, what's the best sunblock? Blah, blah, blah. Biore, Biore, UV watery essence. And this was, I think this was like 15 bucks. This was like 20 bucks. I didn't even show you guys. I'm sorry, I'm like, <laughs> this, these are expensive, man. Every time I squeeze this out, it's like five cents right there. It's super lightweight. Oh no, don't don't be zooming in on my crusty lips. Okay, here it is. Yeah. Hair gel for Dennis, it's Gatsby. I feel like it's, it's kind of popular amongst Asian dudes. And let's get to cooking. We got some groceries, hopefully. Oh, a new angle over here. So I'm obsessed with these cotton candy grapes. I'm the type of person who don't eat fruits if they are not sweet. I, I just like sweet fruits, okay? Cause something about the acidic, the tartiness, I, it just makes my tongue irritated. I don't like that. And sometimes I douse it with honey, but you know, sometimes I don't want to douse my fruits with honey. I just want to eat it and just taste the, the fruity flavors. So I got these again. Um, the first time I bought it was from Whole Foods. It was so expensive. I didn't realize how expensive Whole Foods was for the cotton candy grapes. So if you go to the Asian grocery store, the cotton candy grapes, at least maybe it was a couple months ago. So it maybe it wasn't expensive then. But when I got cotton candy grapes months ago, it was only like five, six dollars. I went to Whole Foods and I saw them and I didn't, I was like, oh yeah, this cotton candy grapes. Yeah, let's just get them, you know? And when I checked out, I realized they were $12 for a little half bag. You didn't even get the same amount. So not only that, they were, they were sour. They're still here, by the way. <laughs> I don't know what to do with it because I don't want to eat it sour. I might have thrown it away. Huh, maybe we did throw it away. And then, um, I don't know, I'm gonna, oh. <laughs> I had some, I had really bad food poisoning last night. Oh my God, my system is like cleansed of everything. I don't, I didn't have to tell you guys that, but I'm gonna eat some good food today. And hopefully, hopefully I don't get sick. Cause I think that food poisoning thing was giving me a headache and that was horrible. I was doing my Japanese studies at my desk and all of a sudden like, bam, it like hit me. I felt super, super nauseous. I lay down 
and I was like, oh man, this is really bad. I'm definitely gonna have to throw up in the toilet. I told Dennis, like, Dennis, can you please clean the toilet for me because I might have to throw up tonight and I, have, I might have to put my head in there. So can you please clean the toilet for me? And he cleaned up the toilet and I was like, anyways, uh, let's get to cooking. And I know that's a weird transition. Toilet talk, cooking, but you know what, whatever. Okay, we need to stretch it some more. Holding the camera at the same time. What else should I put in there? <laughs> I'm just trying to stretch it out. Do you ever do this with like shirts, pants? No, the box is warping. Don't warp on me. The difference between Dennis and I, this is his meal. <laughs> and this, he eats, he eats like children food. I, I don't know. I can eat children food once in a while, but he like loves eating french fries, chicken nuggets, all the unhealthy shit and... I usually don't like cold houses, but because my corgis, they have ear allergies in the summertime. It's been cold because of these guys. We try to keep it cool for them. Otherwise, I like having it 80 degrees and not 80 degrees. Oh my God, no, 80 is too hot. I like 78 degrees, which is probably too hot for most of you guys. But, you know, 78 is perfect for me. Um, I have this other. Oh, man, they're all dying. <laughs> Oh gosh, okay, so this is my new headband that I got. So this was the old headband, and you can tell it's it's pretty stretched out. But it was my favorite because whenever I would wear it, I didn't feel like it was squeezing my head, but look, it's just... <laughs> oh, so much better. And I did a good job at stretching it out yesterday. Ta-da! Look at that, it's all nice and wide. I must say it's not both the same. So vitamin C. Now I like using oils for nighttime and for daytime too because I typically mostly have like normal to dry skin but more on the drier side. So when I get something that's like oily like this, oh, it's so hydrating. I love it. But if you're more on the oily side, I know they have a lotion version which is really lightweight. That might work for you. But yeah, we got some uh, vitamin C and turmeric in. This is my all time favorite product. Even though, I don't know, people are like, hey, scented product, yeah. I don't I do have sensitive skin, but I do like scented products though. That does, I do get, you know, blurred into. Okay, battery died. <laughs> like I was saying, um, I do get sucked into scented products because I don't know, I like it when it smells good. This is a glow recipe. I think it's, I think glow recipe is Korean, I think, but. This is one of my all-time favorite products. It's uh, for PHA, BHA pore tightening toner, and it's just so hydrating. So I always put this as well. It's like got a nice little, I don't know. I feel like if you were to get aloe or cactus, it might feel like this. I feel like, oh, it's so hydrating. Mmm, it feels so good. <laughs> I was watching this other YouTuber, Hey Claire, and she recommended this also Korean product, Organic Flowers Toner Deep Rich Natural Fermentation Wamisa. But I think they discontinued it, and this formulation is pretty similar to it, and it's like very hydrating. I know I really like hydrating toners. I do have a night toner that I use that's like not really hydrating, but uh, yeah, these are oh, these are so amazing. And then lastly, um, I don't know, when it comes to moisturizers, I kind of just hop around to different moisturizers. I just want to use a cheap moisturizer, to be honest. I do like this one a lot, though. This is the Pharmacy Honey Halo Ultra Hydrating Ceramide Moisturizer. And I drink lots of water, too. Water. Oh, God, especially if it's super dry skin like I do. Gotta hydrate. Okay, I've been, like, Quasimodoing because, again, I don't have a tripod, so my back's all, like, hunched up like this. This is the new sunblock that I got yesterday, and I want to try it out. You're not gonna really put much on, but when you do put it on, when it does make contact with the skin, you do, you definitely do get that, a little bit of that sunblock feel. And then when I go out, I like to put sunblock in my hands too. <laughs> Time to do is the makeup. I'm not gonna do a makeup tutorial thing here. I'm just gonna, there's only one thing. I just wanna bring up one thing. I'm trying to find it right now. Where is it? Oh, there it is. I will say, this is my favorite foundation so far. Oh, Focus Blush. Uh, it Cosmetics, it already has sunscreen in it and UVA, UVB, uh, SPF 50. 
What the heck? Okay. <laughs> then the good thing about this company, it's uh, animal cruelty free. They don't do any testing or anything like that. And I feel like it blends really well. I don't know. It works really well on my skin. Getting another massage again. Ta-da! And this is what the makeup looks like. So it's been hours later because I forgot to do this transition thing, but I just finished streaming. We're making some, well, we as in mostly him. We're making some daco food right now. As you guys may or may not know, these guys make, these guys, <laughs> see, it's like one. Made food because they have allergy issues and all the issues and I don't know, every issue. So might as well just make them some yummy foods. I just finished streaming, well, just, like two hours ago. <laughs> but finally, I'm eating. If you can see, I'm eating a bunch of uh, junk food. Well, it's not really junk food. It's like food from the grocery store. It's already like pre-made and blah, blah, blah. But that's what I'm eating right now. Got some leftovers. And I don't know, I'm so hungry. And I'm drinking a Sprite, I know. I'm trying to cut down on drinking soda. Ever since I sort of quit drinking alcohol, Soda has been my replacement, but I only drink soda just, just, just sometimes on the weekdays. But we got some bowls over here. This is a Chinese dessert. Oh no, did it break? They're basically like mochi rice balls with sesame paste inside. So good. Green tea. Dessert, you always have to have tea with you. Mm, mm, mm. All the Juicy Boys. Wait, if the Juicy Boys can eat through metal, then can't they just eat through the door and then invade the slum area? Or am I just ruining the story right now by thinking that there's way too much into it? Bro, close the door. Oh, wait. What the heck? <laughs> Chipotle rolls. <laughs> That's a good. There you go. It's really cool. The house is spicy. Yeah, like yeah, right? It makes a huge difference. Can you see? Yeah, right there. There's a little crispy guy. It's so good. Oh, happily. Happily. See the ear cross. Oh, yeah. We're getting ready, heading out to Mexico. But uh, I don't think I have time to get ready because I've been doing all the stuff for my doggies. I'm doing everything myself because I don't, I don't trust anyone to do anything for my dogs. Like I've taken them to the groomers before and there's been a lot of nightmares. It's just easier just to do it yourself, learn how to clip their nails, you can do it more often, do their ears, everything. So I just do everything myself. It's easier and you save the money, save the trip as well, so. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Holy shit. 